When it first hit the natural state, a school teacher was preparing for her classes to go virtual. At the time, she had no idea that it would turn into a struggle for her to breathe, let alone survive. That's because it nearly killed her. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy live in studio with her story and a closer look at the new battle COVID has left her with. Mitch. Well, Kevin, hello to you. Hello. Good evening, everyone. After being exposed outside of her classroom, she spent half a year in the hospital away from her home and family. Half of it she remembers, the other half she doesn't. But it's how COVID left her that drives her to fight back. It's Pamela Page's journey that put her in a wheelchair and a battle she's still fighting after testing positive for COVID. I had breathing issues. In January of 2021, paramedics rushed the now retired school teacher to a hospital. By the time they got me upstairs, they said they were gonna have to ventilate me. She put my hands, both my hands on top of me and she said, pray, and I did. From there, winter turned to spring. A new president took his oath of office. It wasn't until March, three months later, Pamela woke up with no idea who she was. I had a trait, and um, I was trying to mouth to her, where am I? And she said, oh, baby, you are a miracle. You had COVID. Pamela coded, nearly dying on the ventilator. She suffered nerve damage. Doctors told her, likely not a stroke. I still have this issue, I can't lift it. My hand is, I had none of these issues before COVID. She went home in July, seven months after being admitted, still working to regain her strength despite. My insurance will not pay for therapy any longer. Pamela did not get her full retirement, so she doesn't have insurance, but she refuses to give up. <sighs> I try to exercise myself. She's taking one small step at a time on her walker, determined because... I am a COVID survivor. And that she is. Pamela, who had pre-existing health conditions before COVID, says she's not old enough for full disability yet and does not get Medicare or Medicaid. She applied for a home health care aid but was denied. Kevin, her secret to survival? Prayer.